climate change has become the new normal in the 21st century. Recurrent droughts with subsequent floods with resultant negative impacts in millions of dollars in terms of loss of lives, livelihoods and hamper development. Wajia County, with a population of more than 6,100 people, is among the top water scarce counties in the country, as depicted in a number of rampant recurrent droughts it has experienced in the recent past. Climate change is very, very common. Uh, there is very rampant, I would say, incidences of droughts in the, in the northern Kenya. The poverty rate is very high. And the food insecurity is high. The sanitation condition is poor. We normally receive below 200 millimeters annually. That one is not sufficient for crop production. Source of water for irrigation is shallow wells. In a land where songs about water had echoed for decades, a new story has been scripted by the ordinary farmers in Wajia. The Alimao Women Group. Alimao Women Group was formed out of distress. When women were working, looking for pasture, looking for water, when they reached Alimao, they decided to settle at Alimao. And during the settlement, they thought of what they can do. <laughs> After we lost all our livestock to drought, we finally settled here and started doing farming after we joined the group. After forming the group, they started doing some plants where they, 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 they broadcast uh, seedlings and then the, the seedlings germinate. And because of the best sites, they had no better option, but they used all mosquito nets to protect the pesticides and also to kind of protect the excessive heat so that when they are doing the watering using the traditional way of packets the 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 the, 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 the moisture content can be retained in the in, in the soil from the beginning they had a shallow well and uh, this shallow well uh, was not producing enough water and uh, the women were working in turns uh, some of them working in the in the morning, others working in the evening, so that they could uh, uh, water the plants, as well as uh, prevent, uh, you know, the wildlife from entering into the farm and destroy, uh, destroying and eating their crops. Alimao villagers battled many decades of sparse rain and loss of livestock. However, two years ago, with support from Rapid Program, the entire village came together to script a silent revolution by use of new technology. Kenya Rapid uh, came on board uh, through uh, our partner World Vision in, in Wajia. Not only did they get uh, more support on technical issues, but uh, what's happening now is that, uh, as you can see, the shed nets behind me, the three of them were procured. The shed nets, they come with their water tank, the piping system, the drips and all this. As you can see, these are kales, really improving, contributing to improve, improvement of food security and nutrition, which is very, very key for, you know, people in northern Kenya, where the scarcity of water is very, very high and where the food production is not, you know, is not uh, commonly practiced because of the pastoralism uh, lifestyle, uh, livelihoods. And uh, this particular women group, Alima women group, are 17 women who are growing vegetables every day, uh, harvesting vegetables, and actually generating about 3,000 every day from the market. The women are actually producing now four folds, more than what they were producing from the beginning. They are selling at a good price, and they're selling it at very fast rate because the sukuma and the spinach and the capsicum and tomatoes that are produced from here are very clean, one, uh, very uh, like you know palatable uh, because they are not dry from the heat. Absolutely clean uh, from pest infestation or, or disease. And I understand, you know, in the market, once they get into the market, 
within 10 20 minutes you know the skuma wiki is is gone because everybody is, is interested with the high quality of skuma wiki and despite the the support given to this group there are still some challenges they are experiencing. One of the challenges is that the, the, the place is not fenced. And so they are the wildlife which are coming at night, trying to interfere with the, 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 the crops. The other biggest challenge we have uh, in our partnership is that the counties we are focusing on are actually very, very big in terms of vastness. The village still receives the same amount of scanty rainfall it used to get in the heart of its most trying years. But what has changed is the mindset and the attitude towards the management of the project. The world can learn that even in the middle of hopelessness, with a little effort, there will always be a silver lining on every dark cloud.